All right. Do you do this pretty often? Um, I have commentated twice before. This was my third. Oh, but uh, right. not at a Xanadu. I've done it a bit more than that. But. So we have uh, Rob and uh, King K. Rule. Uh, personally, I think K. Rule is the worst character in the game. That's a... Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll give you that one. I, I can't. He just loses way too many matchups. Yeah. He's heavy, but he's a floaty. He yeah. has slow smash attacks, but he can't kill. Yeah, it's... Eh. Um, I don't know, because there are characters that definitely seem worse than K. Rool. Um, maybe, but I think K. Rool was probably like the least capable character in the game, if that makes sense. Because Little, yeah. Little Mac sucks. I could, you could probably see that, but at the same time, he can a little you Mac, know, take you to 40 if he wants to. Yeah, he's, he's really bad, but when he's on stage, he's really good. Yeah, K. Rool <laughs> j K. Rool's still really good and really goofy, but I feel like you have to have a different mind to yeah. make it work. Uh, meanwhile, Rob, I think personally, is a very good character. He has a lot of different tools, and he's not yeah. used as much, so people don't really get to. Yeah. Did you see the set on uh, Winner's Quarters at SmashCon? Uh, Zach Ray, Rob. Yeah, that was yeah. so sad. I was watching from the lab because my character's thing was up, and I'm like, oh my god, he's crying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was. This, that Rob went off. I'll say it, that. It's, 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 it's such tough. a scary character sometimes, uh, especially when you're on stage. You, or when you're off stage, you just don't know if he's gonna let it rip or not. Uh, so uh, with the side B, why did he crown? K. Oh. Rool uh, throws his crown. He lost it. So uh, now. Yeah, I know how it works. I'm just surprised that he got it in the first place. Uh, maybe he just like whacked him out of the position. Okay, that. I think I know what the Rob was going for there. He's going for the down tilt loop. Whatever you want. Oh, oh. <laughs> my God. I haven't seen the gyro prop up like that whenever it hits somebody from the ground. It's cool, yeah. uh, it seems like the K. Rool is having a lot of trouble getting in and that uh, Rob just seems to be zoning him out for the most part. Right, Which right. is bad for K. Rool because most of his uh, special moves are projectiles. I mean, Two of them are. It's enough to make it difficult. Yeah. Um, oh my oh, god. Oh, and he kills him <laughs> off the top with the up B. No. No. Hate to see That's it happen. That's so mean. It wasn't even like a multi-hit, it was just, no, it was just one little dig. Tick. See ya. Oh, okay, he's not gone. K. Rool, K. Rool may be bad. Second heaviest character in the game, can't be. And he's holding his crown, so he uh, has lost his entire oh. side B, and he gets uh, caught with a neutral getup. Uh, Rob's up forward smash, having a lot of uh, active frames. K. Rool actually being able to recover puts him at least out of the bottom five, doesn't it? No, it doesn't, because... <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're trying so hard to put this character anywhere above top or bottom one. No, he's like the worst, because they, they nerfed it so that the crown hitbox, or like the little buzzer on top of his head, its hitbox is way worse. Yeah. So it's super easy to spike him now. It's not, if you don't have a disjoint, uh, yeah. it's pretty much no different. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it, it, he's good. He's good in like the regard of, um, I don't think of Carol as a character. I think of him as a test. You need to know the Carol test in order to beat Carol, and it's like something that you learn for a week and then you're good. That's very it's fair. It's just like it's the most standardized test in the game. You don't. There's very little to put in about this. It's a very good way to put it. When the game first came out, everyone's uh, K. Rool's busted. K. Rool's the best. Yeah, no one had the study. No one had the course material yet. Yeah. And I always said, wait. Yeah. Grab him. <laughs> like <laughs> right now. Oh my God. <laughs> K. Rool is good against bad people. You, I, I agree. I agree. K. Rool is good against. Uh. K. Rool is yeah, good yeah. against that's bad people. That's exactly what I just said. Yeah. Seeing right now going off stage, uh, I don't think that's really. Now he put himself in a bad spot with that. Because uh, now, just, just by going for a raw back air, he just kind of put himself in a position where that can happen. Oh, and he and that didn't happen. I'm. <laughs> Oh, but he's still still off stage, still in a bad position as the Rob just yeah, perfectly this is probably down throw. Be done. Oh, yep. up up throw. Yeah, up throw's a kill throw. Did not know that. It was a kill throw like before Me Too came out in Smash 4 or 2. It was like a really nasty kill throw. Um, I think they nerfed it. I don't know how hard they nerfed it. I just know that it kind of fell out of style. Where do you think they're going to go? Where do I think who's going to go? Uh, the K. Wu player. Um, he, he gets his counter pick. Uh, oh, they're right, going back. Yeah. Are they going back? Uh, is it where his yeah. buttons messed up? I'm gonna, oh, ask where a, are they going? I'm gonna ask a question to my friends real quick. I'm looking to get into Smash competitively. Are there any good 
resources right, online cool. for research. I know the best way to learn is to grind it, but I like to read source material too. Um, yes, there is um, Ultimate Frame Data. Ultimate Frame Data is a very good place to like. Mm -hmm. I heard some things are a little bit inaccurate, but I haven't been let down by it yet. As neither um, have I. For the for the most part, that's a very good place. Uh, there on YouTube, there are plenty of YouTubers that give wonderful guides on a lot of characters and just tech. Uh, beefy Smash dudes. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty sure. Um, BG Bootcamp. Like maybe a couple of days. Yeah, Gamers Lab. Gamers Lab. Gamers Lab. Gamers Lab is amazing. Uh, pretty sure a couple of days ago, um, my Smash Corner posted a bunch of stuff for about, uh, the snakes down but, throw. Yeah, snakes down throw. Uh, the time that you're on. I don't remember too much about it because I was just hearing it. But uh, I know that, at the very least, snakes down throw scales, or the amount of time that you put into the hit stun, or whatever you want to call it for down throw, it scales with your percent. That's why up tilt works for a while. And then there's also just like a handful of characters that can be hit by like down throw jab at like 60% or oh, something. I, oh, oh, no. Go for the spike. Oh. And Oh, but why? Dead. What? And he misses the punish. He had lost his legend ability as he dropped down and grabbed it again. Shoots a laser up, calls the jump. K. Rule being very aggressive. And it, and it seems like. Wait, wait. huh? Did you, what happened with the gyro? Uh, it just I'm, beat out his cannonball. I think both of them disappeared. Oh, yeah, it just beats again. them out. Yeah, no, it just kind of looks weird because I thought that K. Rool, like, ate the gyro into his blunderbuss. Oh, no. <laughs> the gyro physics are going off this game. And, and it seems like this oh, is when no. the K. Rool loses. Anytime he's off stage and, uh, Josh, 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 Josh. anytime Josh is, uh, edge guarding him, he's just has okay. no options. And here we go back to the same situation. Yeah, Let's see if K. Rool can make it back on stage. Okay, he's back. He's back. He's, he's fine. Back. Um, it's we just, he's center, gets really pushed right back off. I think what's happening is just anything that uh, Carol's doing here is either getting really predictable like that. That was a really slow option. I'm not entirely sure why he would go for that. Um, that was, you know, just like double jump back air off the platform. I don't yeah. think that's a that's the fastest option or even like the safest option. Granted, we're looking at K roll here, uh, which probably doesn't have any fast or safe options from the ledge, as with most heavies. <laughs> um, he might be able to uh, jump off and do Nair, as it's like mostly his stomach. So worst yeah. case scenario, you just get a chip in your armor. Yeah, chip armor's never gonna break, in my opinion. That stuff is hard to break because it regenerates so quickly. You've not seen a Ganondorf by K. Rool. I haven't. <laughs> Just uh, because that sounds like something that would happen in Loser's Round 4 or Super Smash Con. You're right. <laughs> you're right. You're very right. It's, it's such a weird... In the spot dodge, punished with the down tilt. Goes for Nairs. He just spaces him out and keeps him out the entire time. Oh, goes for a defensive option. But it's read by Josh. 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 I'm going <laughs> to... I don't like reading that. That's my name. I don't... <laughs> that's my name, just longer. Oh, he's got the crown again. Uh, Hero honestly just needs to bite back, grab the gyro, beat him at his own game. <laughs> he looks up. Um, wait a minute. Why does Rob still have three stocks? Why did Rob just three stock? <laughs> because K. Rool never got to play. He, he was just 